Let's see how to install MySQL and PHP MyAdmin on Windows Subsystem for Linux, or WSL. From the Windows terminal, click on the small arrow at the top, then choose Ubuntu. If you don't have it there, watch my video about setting up WSL. For reference, I'm using Ubuntu 22.04. Let's start by updating our system. Now that our system is up to date, let's go ahead and install the MySQL server. And it was installed. And if we take a look at the list of running services, we can see here MySQL with a plus next to it, which means that the MySQL service is up and running. Once MySQL is installed, it's highly recommended to run the MySQL secure installation script, as this will significantly improve security. We're asked if we want to impose password security, I'll go with yes. Now we're asked which level of password difficulty we want to enforce, and it's recommended to go with level two, which is the highest one. We're now going to get a few more questions, and for highest security, go with yes for all of them. Now out of the box, we're only going to be able to log into MySchool with sudo. It is a valid option, but won't work if you want to be able to log in with some external tool, such as PHP MyAdmin. That's why I'm going to provide a MySQL password for my root user and also change its authentication method to MySQL native password. I use the alter user MySQL query to make the changes and set the password for the root user, and I'll write it down in the video description below. If we now try to log into MySQL using root, it fails, because we just changed the authentication method for the root user. We can, however, use dash u to specify the user and dash p for the password prompt, and this way, we are able to log in. Next, let's use app to install PHP my admin. And we get this dialog where we need to choose a web server. Both options work. I'll go with Apache 2, so spacebar to make the choice, then enter to continue. Here we can use some auto configuration, but I'm not going to use it, so I'll choose no. Next up, we need to install PHP, so let's use apt to do that. And let's try to log into our database using PHP my admin. To do that, we need the IP address of the server, which can be done with IPA. Let's copy the IP address and paste it to our web browser. And we can see the Apache default page. If we browse to the PHP my admin page, we get the login screen. Let's log in as root. And of course, we have to provide the password we set before. And from here, we can, for example, create a new database. In this database, we can create new tables. We can set the primary key for a table. And if we get back to the PHP MyAdmin homepage, we can also add new MySQL users.